Hello. Do we love how I literally put not even an ounce of effort into getting ready for a YouTube video? Because I love it. Um, but today there's a reason for that. And that reason is that I'm doing a get ready with me video as you saw from the title. So it was contextually appropriate to not get ready yet. However, I did put my pillows on my bed so that you think that it's made, even though underneath it's like, it's all still a mess. And genuinely, it's my first time getting ready in like three weeks as far as doing my hair and putting on makeup because I just don't, I mean, I don't do it on a regular basis anyway because I literally work from home and I just, I don't care to wear makeup and, and anything except sweatpants or yoga pants. But today is the first day that I'm feeling a little bit better. Last Friday, I had a terrible flare up, um, as I mentioned in my last video. And so I was just incapable of doing anything all week. I think I wore the same pajamas for like five days in a row. And it was fine because I wasn't like moving at all, but um, there was no mess. But now I think today to make me feel like a human, I'm going to put on makeup and do my hair and maybe go on a drive with my mom. That's what we've been doing for me to get out every day is just going on a drive, maybe getting coffee if we're feeling crazy, which we're always feeling crazy, so we always get coffee. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna get my makeup out and I'm going to get ready. And I am by far one of the most low maintenance people that I know. The only person that's maybe as low maintenance as I am is my friend Shannon, but she has curly hair. So she automatically has to be a little more high maintenance than me, so. And I feel like she'll appreciate that comment. But I usually would only put on chapstick and sunscreen and then like brush my hair. But today I'm gonna curl my hair and put on all the makeup that I would if I was putting on, you know, a normal amount of makeup. So when I said that I usually just put on chapstick and sunscreen or like lotion, I was not kidding because I put on all the sunscreen and possible and so that's the first step for everything and while I'm doing my makeup I'm just gonna like if anybody cares I'm just gonna show the product on the side of the screen but while I'm doing it I'm going to talk to you about something exciting that I'm going to be launching and some of you may already know because I started an Instagram called Duende and um Duende is a Spanish word and its literal translation is elf or goblin, which is kind of random or interesting. But another translation that I've found in a lot of places, which is the more poetic Spanish, like Spain version of Duende, is a height a heightened sense of passion or the art of being deeply moved by passion. And so it also means goblin or elf, and I think that that's kind of just like the mystical, magical sense of like art, and that's why they've related it in that way. So the name of my Instagram is Duende, and it's spelled phonetically. I'll put our logo on the screen right here. And you may have seen me in the sweatshirts that I had and things like that, which are coming soon. They're not yet available. They are, um, they are going to be. And basically what Duende is, is a brand that I'm creating that's all about helping people find their heightened sense of passion. I, for a long time, have been very enthralled with what other people are passionate about. I just think it's so interesting how people can be um, just obsessed with art or music or sports or, you know, renovating houses or doing calligraphy or just weird animals and reptiles and different things like people can completely invest themselves wholeheartedly in these different activities or hobbies or passions or careers and it's so interesting to me because at the same time as people get older they're suddenly sh just hit with this reality that there is a certain way that they should be living or that there is a certain career that's going to make them successful or that they need to fit into this box of what the what their life is supposed to look like in order to be successful and people long for success they really do but a lot of times in order to be viewed as successful people will put their passions and their dreams on hold or on the side people are willing to give up so much 
that fills their heart with joy in order to seem like they have it all together. And it breaks my heart. It really does because I am just so inspired when I see people doing what really makes them happy. And then there's people in my life that I've also seen put those things on the side in order to make money or in order to not be made fun of or, you know, seen as a joke. And just to be clear, I think there's a big difference between, you know, making your hobby into a full-time job and then using the resources that you have to to do what you're happy about. I don't think that every passion has to be someone's career. However, I just hate to see people constantly giving up what they love in order to do X, Y, and Z. I think that there's so many more options. And so basically what Duende is, just a place where people can get inspiration to do the things that they love. Life is too difficult. Honestly, how do people get through the day just doing like what everybody else expects of them? I um, personally struggle with depression and anxiety as you saw in my last video. And if you haven't seen that, I'm just gonna link it up here so that you can take a look. But um, I struggle with anxiety and depression so much. And the thing that helps me the most is taking a step back and doing the things that I love on a daily basis. I'm a very creative person. And if I don't do something that allows me to be creative every single day, then I will easily, easily, easily slip into a place that's just really kind of dark and scary. And I think that there's just this heightened sense of um, pressure to succeed while at the same time people are becoming more and more suicidal and more and more depressed every day. Statistics are rising and it's showing that people are not okay. However, they continually feel the need to meet the status quo by doing things that don't make them happy. The reason that I'm launching this brand is to give people inspiration and resources to go after the things that they're passionate about. I want to not only give people motivation every single day that says you can do it, this is how, you matter, your dreams matter. I want people to have a place where they can go and get that sort of inspiration while at the same time giving them practical resources of how they can do it. Do you want to make a side business out of something? Do you want to make more time for something? Do you want to budget better so that you can actually accomplish the, the financial goals that you have or the career goals that you have? I want people to have access to really tangible tips and resources that are going to teach them how to get to where they want to go. And so I started this as an Instagram page and um, I'm really enjoying it because I'm getting to talk to a lot of people that I've never spoken to before and it's giving me so much like inspiration. I'm talking to people who are following me that I've never met before and just getting to kind of build relationships in that way and see what people really need and long for. And so as I build this base, I want to be able to just create a community where people can get together and talk about the things that they're passionate about. A community where people can really just begin to dive deeper into the things that make their heart so happy. So few people allow themselves to really give in to their passions. So I'm not going to go too much into where this is going to go in the future. I have a lot of plans for different ideas as far as how to make this community grow. But right now I am just starting it off with Instagram. I will be launching some merch for it and that merch is going to be something also that just spreads out a positive message. They're really comfy um, items that people get to wear and I will be talking more about that in a later video. Can you see all, all this powder? I don't know if you can see it. I'm using this milk setting powder and it's just like the weirdest. It has this like net on it and it's hard to get the product out it's quite difficult and then you do that and it like poofs out everywhere. I don't know if I like this, but um, it's definitely 
Interesting. Can I just like take this lid off and use it just as a loose powder? Can I do that? Am I gonna break you? Ooh. Ooh. See, now if I drop this, it's really gonna get everywhere, so that'll be great. Anyway, that's a big life update for me because that's what I've been focusing a lot of my time on. And I would love if you'd all go follow uh, my new page on Instagram. I will put it right here. And if you already do follow it, go and comment on your favorite post so far and um, let me... <clears throat> Yeah, this is maybe a little too loose. <laughs> I look like a ghost. And so with that, I've also been thinking about YouTube. When I started out YouTube, it was as a way to share those resources. You know, this has always been a major thing that I've cared about is giving people access to information and um, helping people learn how to become the best version of themselves because that's what my life revolves around. I really love personal development and looking inwardly to see what I can do to get closer to being the person that I desire to be. And that's always gonna grow and it's gonna change, right? But, but I um, was originally using YouTube for that. And now that I'm gonna be doing that sort of content on Duende, I'm looking to kind of change what my YouTube is about and there's some things that I love doing that um, I don't know my following is small enough and it's mostly built up around people who who know me so I'm not really concerned that you guys would uh, dislike this I think if anything the people that I know are following me you would enjoy what I'm about to say even more, but I just wanted to start sharing videos of the things that I'm really passionate about. And one of those things is, uh, I don't know, this may be super random. You guys can tell me if this is super, super random, but along with all the lifestyle type of stuff that I do, I love renovating. Like I've remodeled my room a bajillion times, finding cute furniture, and I love doing things that involve working with my hands, whether it's building things. And so I was thinking that rather than posting all of my personal development or leadership development type of content here, maybe this could become more of like what my life looks like and the things that I love doing and just posting videos of all the stuff that I love doing and you know, vlogs and things like that, like I have been doing recently. And then moving all of that personal development stuff over to Duende because that's really um, the type of audience that I'm building up around that. Still planning to post every Saturday, although as you guys have seen, I haven't been the best at that because I'm still trying to figure out editing and everything like that, but it's going okay. <laughs> and um, then I want to, I'm, I'm posting every day on Duende. And so if that sounds like something that would be cool to you, you know, um, me continuing doing vlogs on here, but then also doing more of, I don't know, would it be DIY, buildy, putting stuff together, also behind the scenes of Duende, because I would love to show you guys like making of the merch and m photo shoots and um, kind of my work process behind that, because I love planning and project management and things like that. It's really fun for me. So I'd love to share that as well, but more of a behind the scenes um, version of that. What are my plans for the day? I think the plan is, um, like I said, to go on a drive with my mom. Maybe I'll show you how rainy it is outside and um, finish my makeup and stuff. So. I'm gonna stop talking and I'm just gonna finish my makeup. With all that done, and with all that said about Twin Day, a couple places that you can go to support if you would like is 
we have a website it is up and running and i say we as if there's more than one person but really it's just all my personalities combined to make the website and so let me plug this in so you can go to duende.com and there we um the website's already live and there right now it's a little bit bare bones it has a link to all my YouTube videos that relate to personal development. It also has a page of um, my Amazon suggestions, things that I like um, off of there. And it has a mission page and that is a page where it's going to um, basically talk about our mission, what Duende is all about, what it's for. And then eventually that website is where we're going to build off with all of our resources that we have available. And so if you would like to go there right now, um, we do have a email uh, sign up that you can sign up to get emails and basically we'll be sending out emails whenever a new page launches, whenever new resources are uploaded and things like that. And you can sign up for the email just by um, going to the homepage and a pop-up will appear. So that's pretty exciting. I've spent a long time on this website and I really am proud of it. And so if you would like to find that, um, I will put the link to everything down in the description. Yeah, that's, this is what we'll go with. Now I'm going to get dressed. And I'll come back and show you the outfit afterwards. Okay. So here's the deal. For some reason, I cannot figure out how to use my own camera. And I've recorded things like four different times and it just keeps turning off and I have no idea why. So anyway, this is what I ended up wearing. This is not for sale, but this is a Duende sweatshirt. This is the logo, but this was not a sweatshirt that I actually ended up purchasing. This was a sample very comfortable but way too expensive um and i also already stained it with charcoal toothpaste and i am in too much pain to wear any real clothes so i'm wearing black yoga pants and my trusty black tims the best shoe in the world my mom and i are gonna go out and get coffee maybe i'll show you how much it's raining outside and uh yeah so we're gonna do that and see how exhausted I get out there because every day I feel like a little bit better and then I try to get outside and I try to do something and then I come home and I'm just like very tired um just uses a lot of energy but it's still good to get outside so I'm gonna go outside even though it's raining but it's kind of pretty while it's raining so there's that I did my makeup and my eyebrows were crazy so I like tried to wipe them off and whatever and my hair felt crazy everything just feels crazy I haven't gotten ready in like such a long time so I don't know anyway I'm gonna do that bye Okay, so we didn't go to Manresa because I looked at the clock after I recorded that and I knew they'd be closed. So then we came to another place called Paper Moon that I really like and they're closed. So I guess we will go to Voyager and I didn't want to go there because I just went there like two videos ago and now we're going back. So there we're gonna go get coffee and the sun is coming out barely. My mom wants me to say what time it is <laughs> so that you know why these places are closed. Um, it's like almost five o'clock and maybe I didn't. Oh, it's a rainbow. You want to see a rainbow? Oh my gosh. Wow. It's a rainbow. It's amazing. Yes, I'm drinking coffee at five o'clock. And that's why they're closed because people don't really usually drink coffee at five o'clock. So they close at like two or three. But. I'm not most people. And we're going to get coffee. Right, Mom? Yes. 
Yes, my mom is driving. Pretty good. Not overwhelming. Not underwhelming. I'm whelmed. Right, Mom? Yeah. <laughs> So I'm home now and I was gonna say that that was just a quick video but then I realized I actually talked for like an hour earlier but I don't know how much of it you'll end up seeing. We're home now. We went out to get coffee. It was good but that was literally all we did and now I'm tired. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed this. I really just wanted to make kind of a quick video to say hi mom. My mom literally just walked right outside my bedroom window. Um, just a quick video to kind of talk about Duende and um, put that out there so that you guys can follow along on my Instagram and um, Duende underscore Duen underscore day. Um, I'll put it in the description below and at the end here. But I just want to put that out there so that you guys can follow and be ready for some announcements because I'm very excited to be starting this brand. <sighs> I was going to sneeze and then I didn't. <laughs> oh, unsatisfying. I'm just so glad to be finally putting this out there because I've been preparing this for like months and this is just the launch of the website and things like that um, and the Instagram like those are the only things that are out right now that are tangible but I'm really excited for what's going to be coming in the future so I'd love if you want to follow along and be a part of it if you would just keep an eye out for everything and be a part of it with me. So I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your night or day or whenever you're watching this and I'll see you next time. Bye. I belong, I belong to you.